G'day folks, my name's Cortezarino. Today I want to show you how to build my five item per chest item sorter. Now if you're familiar with my channel, you would have seen this before, but I thought it was about time that I got around to doing a tutorial. Now I've designed this to be a supplement to Impulse SV's item sorter. So you'll see there's his down the bottom, and I'll provide a link to his tutorial in the description of this video. So I've got his doing oak wood here and oak wood planks. And up the top is my one, which will do stairs, slabs, fences, fence gates, and doors. Now this design works with hopper minecarts. And the reason I've designed it to be a supplement to Impulse's item sorter is because it'll only take a stack of items at a time. So you wouldn't put your bulk items in here, but things like uh, comparators and repeaters that you're rarely feeding in more than one stack at a time into your item sorter, this design is perfect. So this minecart up the top here will sit underneath your hopper chain collecting all of these five items. And when you want them to empty into your chest below, you send a signal through all of your cells. So when you push the button, this minecart will run across these four hoppers and come to rest on the fence gate. As it runs across these hoppers, it will drop one of the items that you are collecting in this cell. So I've got redstone ore here, and then four items, can be any item at all, as long as it's not one of the items that you're sorting in the minecart. And this goes in the first slot of each hopper. So as the minecart runs along, it will drop in one of those items. So you will then have two redstone comparators in here. Now there are five items that we're sorting, but only four hoppers here. That's because the minecart itself will act as the fifth hopper. So you'll see in the first slot of this minecart, I've got two items. So a moment after this one runs across the top, the bottom one will run along here and as it comes up this slope it will collect the two items from the first slot of this hopper. It will then activate this activator rail, release this top minecart and it will run down and empty its contents into your chest. The bottom minecart then continues along here and as it runs past these four hoppers will collect one more item out of this first slot and come to rest underneath your hopper chain with a full complement of items to collect. Now you can speed up the bottom minecart so you only need one item in here, but I like the idea of having that extra little buffer zone because the minecarts are moving objects and we don't want anything to go wrong. So you'll see here we have a full complement of items ready to collect and this one is emptying everything left over into this chest. So the design is two blocks wide, but it is completely tileable. And the, switching the minecarts is as easy as pushing a button. When you're planning to build this, just bear in mind that it can only be built facing either east or west. So just place down four powered rails, and whichever way they connect and face is the direction that you have to build the item sorter. So now I'll show you how to build it. So begin by placing down a furnace and this furnace will sit on top of the hopper chain of Impulse's item sorter. You can then place down a double chest here with a hopper feeding into that chest right here and pop a powered rail right on top with a block against the powered rail and a minecart with hopper on top. Then grab a building block of choice and place one, two, three, four, five powered rail on the end, and then regular rails all along to connect the two powered rails. Then place a block against that powered rail there, and more blocks like so. Then place a detector rail, two regular rails, and a powered rail. On this block here, place a lever, switch it on, and on top of the lever, a regular block and then one two three four five on the last block here place a regular rail and then powered rails all along here so come around this side and place hoppers feeding in to the powered rails like so you can then place powered rails on top of the four hoppers now come along here on top of the detector rail, place a temporary block, another block, delete the temporary block, and a redstone torch on the front of this block, and that powers your rails. 
Now next to this activator rail, we'll break that powered rail for a moment, place a temporary block with a fence gate on top, break the temporary block and replace the powered rail. Now around the front, I want you to place a block here, a block here, a piece of redstone dust there and a block on top. Now we need to make this rail curve in that direction. So your best strategy is to leave out all of these rails here until the very end. So build all of your cells and then do this bit last. And when you do it, uh, looking from the front of your sorter, you'll start on the right side and you go regular rail, then activator rail. We're using activator rail here because we want a rail that isn't going to bend, but we don't want it to be a powered rail. And then place your two powered rail like so. And the next one, same again, regular rail, activator rail, and then your two powered rail. So you can then place your minecart with hopper right there, and you would build your hopper chain directly above all of these minecarts. So decide on the five items that you're going to be sorting in this particular cell. And you see here I've got oak stairs, slabs, fences, fence gates and doors. And I want you to grab two of each of those items. Come along to your minecart with hopper. And in the first slot, place two items. And then one item in each following slot. Then come along to your first hopper. Place in one of your items in the very first slot of the hopper. And then... Fill up the other slots with an item that you are not sorting in this particular cell. And continue that along for each hopper. So the last thing to do is to rig up the signal that we'll send through these item sorting cells to trigger the minecarts to switch. So on top of your chest, place a temporary block and a block on top. And repeat that for each cell. And then on top of this block, place repeaters facing in one direction. It can be either direction, doesn't matter. So now when we send a signal through, it will trigger the minecarts to switch. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment and I will answer you as quickly as I can. So cheers, I'm Cortez Rena. see you later.